I'm just gonna have a little sit down. Feel sorry for myself. Oh, oh. The O Brother Stranger mission activates in Chapter 4 after Arthur completes the Gilded Cage. Arthur can intervene in an argument in front of the Valentine General store if he so desires, and why wouldn't he? Arthur is curious and he likes to help, at least in my game. So let's see what all the commotion is about. My friend! You there! This wind is going to blow me hell Yeah? Hell. What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child! I apologize, sir, for his smell! Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell! And here are Proteus and Acrisius, two brothers fighting over the affections of a woman. You will find the names interesting if you are a student of Greek mythology. To quote Wikipedia, Acrisius and Proteus were said to have quarreled even in the womb of their mother, and when Abbas died, Acrisius had grown up. He expelled Proteus from his inheritance. The takeaway here is, if you're a parent, naming your twin boys Acrisius and Proteus is setting them up for failure and a lifetime of rivalry. Acrisius and Proteus are competing for the affections of this lady, Helen. You know Helen, of course, Helen of Troy, the face that launched a thousand ships in the Trojan Wars. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron! <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. Arthur is reluctant, but he whips out the volcanic. <sighs> okay. This is probably the only time you can fire your weapon in Valentine where you won't catch a bounty. If you happen to shoot one of these jokers, you'll fail the mission and you'll have to restart. What are you fools doing? Try Good shot! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. And check out the eyebrows on Acrisius. Wow, he must have got those done in Saint Denis. There is no way the Valentine Barber is threading eyebrows. Another round, smaller bottles, sir, please! What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Oh, he got it. Of course. Good shot, sir. And now for me. There it goes. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen. Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. At least... Fine shooting. Oh. Now mine. Bravo! <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man, please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you 
Arthur gets a $1.78 for his troubles. However, bullets are cheap and the entertainment value is, of course, priceless. Come back a day later and you can meet the boys behind the saloon, still at it. Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The night and the name. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh. Really like the music here. It's jaunty and sets the mood. <laughs> ah, you really walloped him. Right, yikes. I'm fine. Come on! Arthur's got a haymaker on him, but to me it looks like he's holding back. He's at 50%. He doesn't want to hurt these fellas and doesn't really understand how this will help with the Helen situation. Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit me again. again! Right here! Right here! And if you want to know who's who, the game will tell you at this point. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once! Give me your worst! Here I stand! See what I mean? 50%. Arthur can lift a deer onto his shoulders and can easily knock down an NPC with one hit. I think he's done for! Barely even felt it! <laughs> There's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. This scene always literally makes me laugh out loud, much like the dynamite scene with Emmett Granger. Not enough, gentlemen? Yes, oh, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? And this time we got no reward, but Arthur decided to follow. Hello. Hey, we're watching you. Don't be starting nothing here again. Here's the hotel. We're almost there. I need to get him to bed, okay? Goodbye, mister. Hello, sir. Hello again. Okay, now lie down and rest. Rest. Much better. I was really wondering how far this would go, but we're stopped by this closed door. Careful, lady. Ma'am? How's it going, tough guy? Tough guy. These are some hard-looking deluxe bath ladies. Excuse you. Get in quick, folks, before I eat all these chops myself. Hey there. Hello, good looking. 
Mind yourself now. There's no way into that room. Come on, ladies. This little one will put a smile on your man's face. Forgive me, ma'am. Hey, pay up or back up. And Arthur is nothing if not polite. Wait a couple days and you can encounter the boys once again east of Wallace Station by the waterfall. Here is the map. We're in Chapter 6 right now and Arthur currently has bounties pretty much everywhere. He doesn't really care and is not interested in paying them off. Yeah. No Helen dialogue. Can't really interact with her here. You are a fool and a nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy little toad bothering you again? Shall I throw him off? This is getting quite out of hand. Hands? Oh, he doesn't have hands. He's a troll. And that's why we found him here. He is... Oh, Arthur. How are you? Never better. I see, you two haven't changed much. No. He's still a lizard. Coward, gerbil, mommy's boy. Vanity. Effluent discharge. Milk sop. You already said that. Milk sop, to quote Google, a person who is indecisive and lacks courage. It's an archaic word from late Middle English, which would put it around the 14th or 15th century. I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sop. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. Arthur, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me! Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor! Barrel riding over waterfalls was a relatively new daredevil stunt in 1899, primarily for publicity. Also, the first successful barrel rider over Niagara Falls was Annie Edison Taylor, the Queen of the Mist in 1901. Here's a picture of her with her barrel and her cat. The cat actually made the trip first, two days earlier, a sort of proof of concept as it were, I suppose in a cat-sized barrel. And you can find a failed barrel rider near Bacchus Station. Approach on foot. Leave your horse at the top of the trail. Arthur will want to draw this scene and he will write, Found the remains of some poor bastard woman tried to go over a waterfall in a barrel. Found it interesting. Sad, I guess. An even more ridiculous life than the one I lead. Don't mind Arthur, he's just posing for a thumbnail. Here is your location, right above the S of Bacchus Bridge, north of Bacchus Station, and at the foot of Donner Falls. And back to the twins. This video is sponsored by Batman Tonio, my second gaming channel where we play every other video game that isn't Red Dead Redemption 2. Like and subscribe for longer format deep dive gaming commentaries where I overanalyze and focus on the details. 
Good luck! Crazy bastard. Let's go try and find them. We must at once. Uh, okay, get on your horse. Follow me. They've been carried down a ways. We can't get there from this first path. Do you think they're all right? They might be. You want them to be all right? Of course. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? I was just thinking. It might be easier for you if only one of them was... Catch my meaning? Sir, that is a terrible thing to say. You got a favorite? I like them both. Equally. Well, maybe fate might help you out. It is not like that, mister. Not like that at all. Sure. Seems like Helen can't make up her mind. You can't get Here down. you are. Brother, are you there? Agri! Huh? Is that you? Huh? I've had the wind knocked out of me. I thought you were a goner. Uh, it's a miracle we're alive. Silly, silly voice. You nearly died. For me. She's right. Dear brother, what fools we've been. You're the fool. But a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know! You are a lion! Giant! You're an earthshaker! World conqueror! Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? I, I, Good lady, adieu. Bewitch, some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought Lep, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys! Boys! <sighs> There's quite some suitors you've picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without no, me. Probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. <sighs> oh, I wasn't trying to lead them on, you know? It was just exciting. The smartest man I knew, with positively the least sense. <laughs> yeah. Yes, usually the way it works. Good luck. So, in the end, Proteus and Acrisius chose each other. Helen goes off to see her best friend, Lily May, and they hang out at the church or the saloon looking for some new gentleman callers. Arthur, as always, is confused, but happy to help. We've all done crazy, impulsive gestures to catch the eye of someone we fancy. I once spent an entire summer playing Farmville to get close to a girl who loved that game. I didn't end up crashed and half-drowned on the side of a river, but it wasn't for lack of trying. Who can understand the mysteries of the human heart? Not you, not me, and certainly not Arthur. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Good girl. No, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already.